hello everyone so this is the beginning stages of the nail design we're going to be working on this weekend before i begin the nail design this is it's extremely simple uh nail design but before i begin um i told you all that i actually had damage on my nails because i was neglecting them i hadn't been painting them or anything and i kept breaking my nails because i wasn't wasn't keeping them painted or anything and um in all the previous videos that you saw i had nail tips on my middle finger my pointer finger and my thumb uh, my pinky finger and my ring finger on both hands, those were my natural nails. But the rest of the nails, on the rest of my fingers, they were uh, tips. So what I did, um, I actually, my nails had grown out. I wore them for about three or four weeks, I think. And my natural nail underneath had grown out to the point where I could actually cut and shape my nails. So I soaked them off. And I had to cut my nails down because my pinky and my ring finger were much longer than the rest of my nails. But, you know, I like to keep my nails pretty much even. So I was able to cut them even and shape them um, pretty much and get rid of all the damage. So now I'm just going to grow just my natural nails out. Um, from here on out, you'll just see pretty much my natural nails. So the first thing I did um, for the nail design, um, for all of my fingers except for my ring finger... I painted with a green nail polish and the one that I use is by Clean Colors is number 109 and it's called Green Grass. And I applied one coat on my nails. For my ring finger, I applied this kind of like a brown nail polish. Um Actually, it's by Clean Colors, but the sticker is missing on it. So, I really don't know what the name of this one is. Um, but this is the bottle that it came in. Like I said, the sticker is missing off the bottom. Um, I don't know what happened to it. So, I have no idea what the name of this polish is. But I just used like a brown nail polish. And I painted my ring finger with it all over. Um, the next thing I, I used were these stickers. These gold stickers. And they come in different designs. This was one of the reviews that I did for BornPrettyStore.com a while ago. Um, I don't know if they still carry these or not. But it's a lot of them. A lot. It's one sheet that you receive. And it's pretty much a lot of different stickers on it. And designs. But this is the one that I chose to use here. With the flowers on it. If my camera focused. So this is the one I decided to use. And what I did, I just took one and I just kind of cut it to the shape. Um, that I wanted to use on my nails. This is one that we will be applying here. I will be putting this one on my middle finger. And some of them, uh, some of my nails has one flower on them. Some of them have uh, two flowers on them, as you can see. And I added a crystal, a B Swarovski crystal, in the center of each flower um, on all the flowers that you see on my nails. Like I said, some have one, some have two on them. So I'm going to do that as well. Um, this is the one that we're going to be applying. Um, I find that lifting them is much easier if you do it with a pair of tweezers. Um, pretty much, it's much, much easier. This is the tweezers that I have. I thought this was so cute. I brought these at Sally's as well. It has like a little lady on them. I thought it was really cute. But anyway, I purchased these at Sally's uh, Beauty Supply. Now, what I like about these stickers is that these stickers are fairly uh they're uh, thin. They're kind of thin, but they're stout enough where they won't tear up when you're lifting them. And I really like that about these. So I'm just going to apply this on my middle finger. It might be a little bit too long. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to apply it on my finger. And if it's a little bit long, I did use my... Um, my cuticle cutters which is are these I did use this to trim it perfect to my nail if it's a little bit long you can see it's overlapping here and I don't want it to lift any at all when I uh, apply my top coat on so I just kind of snipped off the excess of it And afterwards, I just pretty much pressed it down. So you can see what it looks like on my nail. So next, I'm going to apply a layer of top coat on top of it. 
and usually I use nail glue to apply my Swarovski crystals with this time I just use my top coat to apply them and I'm going to be using these they're crystal AB and they are size 6SS and I'm just going to apply one of those in each one of the flowers that you see So that is basically it for this nail design. Hope you like it. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you later, YouTube. Till then, take care.